do have some showers sneaking by. We might get clipped by one. It was a busy day inside the weather office at Whistling Straits. The small trailer goes unnoticed by most, but we were given an exclusive look inside. Yeah, we've a this cell is really uh, intensified just a few miles to our west. Um, it's something you might want to come in and take a look at. That's meteorologist Brad Nelson radioing PGA Chief Championship Officer Kerry Haig. We'll have to see how this uh, how this sneaks by. I don't. Immediately after that conversation, a weather warning was issued. The rain came down and the umbrellas opened up. But typically, we're looking at that 10 mile mark for lightning to really take action. It can take an hour to evacuate the players and spectators. There's no question that Lake Michigan adds to the beauty of this golf course, but it also adds a lot of weather challenges. The hardest things to really forecast are the fog and the, the wind direction, especially the lake breeze. A lot of times you can have a west or a northwest wind in the morning and then all of a sudden you're blowing off the lake during the afternoon. Basically the whole tournament uh, revolves around weather and how not only how it's set up but also how the players will um, attack this golf course. At Whistling Straits, meteorologist Chris Gloninger, WISN 12 News. By the way, the next chance of rain at Whistling Straits, that would be Friday.